Well, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna go through the new camera. This is so awesome. So there's a lot of cute things, there's a lot of odd things, and there are some scary things. So let's get right into the camera settings. So on the bottom right hand side, you can see we have all these new reactions. Like they're, the first two I think are the normal ones that we've always had, you know, where you can point the finger and put your hand out. But this last one, the claw thing, like, rawr! I love it. I love it. And especially with this face. This is the face you need. So if you go under your smiley face, you can get all these new facial reactions. And some of them are cute. Some of them are a little odd. This one's all right. This one's fine, too. This one here I laugh at every time I see it. Look at this huge smile. There's so much gum. <laughs> but I love it cuz and, and the winky eye. I mean, I like the winky eye. It's a little it's a little awkward. <laughs> but if you look over to your next thing, you're going to see that we can change filters. This is fun as well. I don't necessarily need it, but I do like that third one over. I think it gets it makes it a little brighter. But you can just cycle through these and play with them. They're a lot of fun just to see what they do. And Goofy, did Goofy just push Kristoff right out of the way? <laughs> these characters love to be in the camera. It's so much fun. So if I turn it off, it gets too dark. So I like, is that the fourth one over? Yeah, I like that one the best. And then we have frames. This one, I think they needed to add a little more transparency to it. I think it's really cute, but it's not transparent enough for me, so I'll never use that one. And then we've got all of these other ones. Just white border, black border, white thick border. And then we have this one. I love this border. And then you can also put Disney Dream Lake Valley, the logo, in any of your corners. So I think that's very convenient, and I love that idea. It'll help if you're doing a thumbnail and you just want to use this. The R on the PC will totally show the user interface or it will hide it. I also love that when you go to save the picture, you can save and share by using a QR code. So that's extremely convenient. You can just take your phone, take a picture of the QR code, and it'll save it to your phone. So you'll always have that picture. You can then email it to yourself or whatever you want to do with it. But I think that's awesome. The bottom left-hand corner on the switch on the pc it'll give you your whatever you're supposed to press to make those things happen keep note that the t on the pc or the y on the switch will change the picture dimensions so i'm calling it portrait square and widescreen right now we're in widescreen the v on the pc or the x on the switch changes the camera mode so that is your normal selfies mode or your portrait mode or just the scenery mode which we're still in that picture, which is a real bum that we can't remove ourselves. But it is what it is, right? So anyway, those were the main things. That top right-hand corner, that coincides with V or X. That's your camera mode. So you can actually change those just by clicking on them on the PC. On the Switch, you'll have to actually press hey, X. Um... But... On the PC, you, you can just click on them or press V. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've used this new camera or not. And I would love to know what you think about it and what you would score it. I think I would score it an 8 out of 10. The only thing I don't, the only thing that bugs me about it is that when we go into our scenery mode, under camera mode, and the camera turns around, you can see your village. That's a great picture. But there's two things that I wish they would add to this camera. That we could either turn ourselves around or remove ourselves. I would like both of those features, to be honest. Because every time we go into that scenery mode, all you see is the backs of us. <laughs> and we'd almost have to hide behind something so that you don't see us. But that's the only reason I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10. Because I do love this camera. And I love how they all fit. I mean, look at it. Look at these guys behind me. They are so adorable <laughs> posing for the picture. And Mickey, Mickey. Oh my goodness. I love them all. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. 
I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more Dreamlight Valley videos. I'll see you later. Bye.